Within this video, we're going to carry on using some of the modeling tools here inside of the Unreal Engine. Specifically, the ones that we're going to be working with are the Cube Grid and this Mesh Cut. Now, these ones are going to give us a lot of power on creating basically rooms, but also some really odd shapes as well. To begin this, let's go ahead and just use the Cube Grid. And all we need to do is just go ahead and click on the Cube Grid. And we get this huge grid that's hanging out here inside the world. Now, I'm going to zoom in because there are a couple things that are kind of important to understand about this. First and foremost, you'll notice that the grid is basically on the floor. When I want to move this, I can hold down the control key on the keyboard and middle mouse click, and you'll notice that that grid actually jumps up, which is very helpful. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it down here on the grid by hitting control Z, and you'll notice that we also have a bunch of shortcuts over here for the others that you may want to be playing with. We'll talk about the important ones as we go. Next thing is that I want to worry about the size of my actual squares on this grid, and I can control that right here with my block size. So I'm gonna just change this for giggles. I'll just set it to two and yay, that's awesome. Now, what I wanna do is actually create basically a room that will encompass this whole area right here. So to do that, all I need to do is get up above it and I'm going to left mouse click and drag and you can see I can create a area right here. So that's good. Now what I'm gonna do is just change my angle a little bit. I'm gonna hold down the control key on my keyboard and left mouse click and drag. And you can see I can start to create my room. So that's pretty awesome. But to create the walls, I wanna go ahead and cut a hole in the center of this. So along the top, I can click and drag out a grid up here and then hold control and click and drag and just push it down. Ta-da, now I've cut a hole in it. Let's go ahead and create a door as well. I'll just put it over here on the left-hand side of this. So I can click and drag right about here. -ish. Hold control and click and drag and push in. Now, of course, I could pull out as well if I wanted to, but in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just clip these out of here. So there we have it. Now we actually have a room. So I'll go ahead and say complete. And you'll notice, just like we had it in the previous video, I now have a room down here and I can drag out multiple of these as I want. Something that's really cool about this cube grid is that you can actually manipulate objects after the fact. So even though I've actually left the tool, I can actually go back into it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this one again, but that isn't necessary. I could very easily do it on any of these other objects. But just to kind of prove a point, I wanna cut in a window and then I'm gonna show you a really cool way to cut in a window by actually using this mesh cut. So what I wanna do is select the object. Now I have not moved it because I want it to be on the same exact grid location. And then with this one selected, I'm gonna go ahead and come up to our cube grid. And again, I can just hold down, click and drag with my left, and then I can hold control and click and drag in and pull out, and you can see that I can manipulate it. Now you see that blue flashing, that's fine. It's supposed to do that, don't worry about it. It's basically just trying to rebuild the materials as I'm messing with it. Now, this is great, I go ahead and say complete, and you will notice that this object down here, if I bring it out, it now has that window in it as well, right? So it's manipulating and changing the actual asset here inside of the content door. It's not manipulating it just here inside of the viewport, which is a very important concept to understand. So let's go ahead and undo that because we can, which is really nice. And now let's cut a very odd shape into this as a window instead. And what better shape to use than one we've already created in the previous video, which was our teardrop. So I'm gonna just drag the teardrop in here like so, and I'm gonna hit F to zoom in on it. What I wanna do is just make sure that it's actually going through both sides and it is not. So I'm gonna go and use my scale tool, just make this a little bit bigger, about like so. I think that'll actually work. So it's very much inside of this. So now what I wanna do is go ahead and select my walls, and then I'm gonna hold down shift and click on the actual teardrop. You'll notice over here on the left-hand side, we now can use our mesh cut. Now this is going to behave very much like the mesh bool, but it's a little bit different and we'll see what I mean when here in a second. So it's going to click on that and I don't actually need to worry about anything up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as is. And you'll notice that I have a little section here that's kind of hollow and that piece is actually kind of disappeared, right? Now I can go ahead and move this around and I can go ahead and rotate it, do all kinds of silly things with it as I want. I'm just gonna leave it as is because I already got it set up the way I want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just click the accept button down here at the bottom. Wait for it, cool, so there we have it. Now if I go ahead and grab this and I kind of move it out of the way, you're like, well, great demo, nothing happened, except it did. So if I click right here, you'll notice I now have a new piece and my gizmo is a little bit off center. So let's go ahead and just use our pivot, go ahead and center that back up and say accept. And now when I move this out of the way, you'll notice I have a very specific shape that has been cut out of here, right? And it is actually kind of steepled up there and I can prove that to you by moving this one up and you can see this is the negative 
that came out of there. So we can create some very interesting shapes and you can very easily cut windows or other shapes out of other shapes using this mesh cut and you actually get the negative along with it. You can see that here down at the bottom. So you can see I have each one of these pieces that we've created. So there you have it. There's a couple other really interesting tools here inside of the polygon modeling set and you can use them to create very, very unique shapes very, very quickly. So if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you when I can.